So to tell you about a couple of problems with the process of sectioning people, I have to say I face these more as a junior doctor. Now as a consultant, I have more authority, so it's easier to phone or escalate the problem and get it sorted out because of my position, but it never used to be like that. One massive problem is the jurisdiction. So AMPS, which I, who I mentioned before, they work in different geographical areas and uh, often they're really busy and they, they don't want to do the Mental Health Act assessment unless it's they're absolutely sure that it belongs to them. And the patient's address, the patient they were, the place they were picked up, their last known address, and where their GP are registered are all reasons that it might be another geographical area or another borough in London. So often we get a lot of toing and froing and arguments between AMPs to decide whose patient it actually is. And sometimes this can delay the process of sectioning somebody for hours whilst your psychotic patient is sitting in accident emergency and there's a risk they might leave or become disturbed. It happens quite frequently. Another issue is actually a delay in getting the doctors together. So as I said, you need two independent doctors. It might not be that hard during the daytime, but imagine that somebody's come in in the middle of the night who's psychotic. You have to, the amp has to phone around and try and wake up uh, doctors and ask them if they're able to do these assessments. Another massive issue is the lack of hospital beds, which I mentioned before. Sometimes there just isn't a bed available within the NHS trust, and so the patient has to go to a private hospital or has to go out of area, which is horrible for the patient because they're unsettled, away from home, away from their friends and family. Although I have to say, where I work in courts, it's a bit different because the patient is obviously locked in a custody cell downstairs, so there's no issue with them potentially leaving. Hello, cruel world. What you just saw there was a tiny little tantalizing taste, mm -hmm. kind of nutty, of a much longer episode. You should go check it out if you're interested. The link will be in the description below. If you're a fan of either true crime or mental illness <clears throat> or the crossover between the two, then you've got to go and check out my main YouTube channel, A Psych for Sore Minds. My name is Dr. Shaham Das. I'm a consultant, a forensic psychiatrist. I assess mentally disordered offenders for a living so that you don't have to. My channel covers a whole range, a smorgasbord of topics related to true crime and mental illness. For example, high profile true crime cases with my own kind of personal psychoanalysis of individuals. I discuss issues related to criminality. I discuss individual diagnoses. I give advice about psychiatric problems. I interview ex-patients. I do a lot. There is something for everybody on my channel and I implore you to go and check it out. You can even steal some of my ideas, palm them off as your own to impress your friends and impress people at dinner parties. It's all good. I've got your back. Until next time, stay euthymic, check out my channel and please do not forget, I love you.